welcome back to Shannon Brick Cottage. My name's Lorraine, and I have my sidekick Abby with me today. Hi guys. <laughs> um, it is season two, episode seven, and I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you for coming back and joining me. If you're new, welcome. If you're a returning follower, thank you so much. Don't forget to like the video and um, subscribe to the video. And I did check my subscribe numbers before we hit record because this one, <laughs> she'll make them go up for sure. <laughs> for sure. So um, this is Abby, my daughter, and uh, she does not cross stitch. Um, what The only hobby she probably doesn't do, but she is a new quilter. She knits, she sews, you do everything, um, pretty much. And she's on vacation this week, so uh, she left the kids with uh, Papa Tom and she scooted right on over to my house so we could have this fun floss tube time. Uh, so, like, I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> um, I, I did make a couple little notes, so let's talk about what we're gonna talk about today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're going to talk about, but let me go to my notes. I have finishes. I have FFOs, fully finished items. I have whips. I have my quilt is done. That's kind of like hanging out. We tried to put it up. It's a little janky, but we got it. And my, so that would be for my fair entries. And um, I have some haul because sometimes I buy stuff. Sometimes. 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 And, um, and I don't have a giveaway for this video, so if you're just here for the giveaway, sorry. But, but I want to have a big giveaway when I hit 500 subscribers. I'm like down in the 400 range, and Abby tells me it's not about how many subscribers you have, it's about the quality. And I have some really nice ones because you guys like leave comments and stuff, and I love that. But um, if, if I hit 500, um, I will pick something from the Fat Quarter Shop and send it to you. I, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let you know what it is, and then we'll do like a little whatever. I think I might need to edit this. This seems like weird. You're really going to need to edit this. I'm really going to need to edit this. Anywho, so since Abby's the guest, let's start with Abby's. What, what do you got? What do you got? What's a whip you have going on? I've got a lot of whips going on. Well, let's show one. All right, so because it's n the start of Halloween season, if you work in retail, which she that her second which I do her second job, Joanne's already has all their Halloween stuff out. So I started a little Halloween quilt. Here, let me hold it for you. Okay, up oh, there's the top. It's right here. Cool. So just making this because. I apparently don't have enough Halloween decorations. I'm more of a Christmas person and Papa Tom is into Halloween. So making a Halloween quilt for him to snuggle under while he watches people die on screen this Halloween season. <laughs> and what this pattern was from uh, one of your books? It was from one of the books from the Fat Quarter Shops, like uh, Perfect Five Quilts or something like that. Okay. I can look it up and she can link it in the bio. I don't know how to link, but I, I will show you how to link it up in the bio. I'll just like type it out. But, <laughs> but anyway, isn't that cool? And it's so neat. I like it. It's like different than something I would do, but I love the colors. When I just say different, I just mean like I've not done anything like this. Like this rectangle. You mean you never tie-dyed your own fabric because oh, God this, forbid this that is, the store has what you want? This is tie-dyed? The purple is, yeah. That's hand oh. tie-dyed and hand bleached too. So that like the dark black is tie-dyed and then the lighter spots are where I bleached it while it was tie-dying. Oh. So that gives it what, some what, nice What dimension. color was it to begin with? White? It was purple. It was purple. Oh, it was, it was purple. Oh. And I went in with black and bleach and it created kind of like this. I love the, it. The, the new texture. I love it. Thank you. You want to show us another whip? I've got, listen, one more and then we'll switch over to cross stitch. Which one do you want to do? Well, just pick one. <laughs> pick one. Um, oh, here's one. Here, so, so I started another Halloween one because again, you know, whatever. Yeah, I'm waiting. I like to do my stuff in season, but I, I, I'm, yeah. Oh, uh, Buffalo uh, Quilting Co. She just did her Halloween quilt. And she, and she pointed out that the bat's given side eye. And I would show you because I have that quilt panel, but that would require me to climb over the table and we can't reach it. Was it a bat or an owl? 
it's an owl, but there's bats in it. And apparently the bats on the fabric is giving side eye. Okay. Okay. So, but I will do that later. <laughs> so, I am attempting my first pinwheel oh. in this Halloween nonsense. So there's that. Like, is it a pinwheel? Oh, I'm wrong? oh, I, no, I think you're wrong, I'm wrong on the name of it. That reminds me of, is it, I think it's vintage. Go ahead and keep talking. I'm going to look it up. Okay. I think it's like a vintage kite or something. So needless to say, like this is my first attempt and, and I'm having a difficult time getting those points just right. Some of them are getting cut off. Oh, uh, that's my problem. So if anyone has any tips on how to get those points just right to kiss, listen, we could use, we could use your advice. You could leave us a comment. I'm on positive that. that I'm positive. This is a pattern that fat quarter shop has that, um, well, this is out of the same book, right? And yeah. I think they have um, paper, like you sew onto the paper, oh. like I think it's called foundation paper piecing, and then you get your perfect points. Well, I won't look that up right now, but I'll look that up. And if I can find it, I'll put it in the bottom here and then we'll hook Abby up with some paper to see if that helps. Yeah. So that's again, just, I have some left. Oh, look at some this. Some left over. That is, so this spooky jack-o-lantern face and. Oh, I love this one right this here. This spider web are brand new at Joann's this season. Okay. We're, we're not, we're not plugging Joann's, you know, girl. <laughs> hey, come visit me. <laughs> I'll hook you up real nice. Oh, and look at this one. Is this part of that fabric too? Yep. So the, so the ones like that it. are left in here were part of a, a fat quarter bundle oh, that Joanne's just started. I had so. this fabric. Did I give you this fabric? I had this no, fabric. Oh, that came in the bundle. Oh, I did this fabric um, for one of the first mystery quilts, the Halloween mystery quilts I did with fat quarter so, shop. Is that with the, the cauldron and the broom? I don't remember. Because that one Because the really Halloween cool. quilts are Yeah. yeah I used one this really fabric. Cute. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so we, we did Halloween is where, where she's at. Let me show you. We're going to kind of be all over the place. So, you know, buckle up. Buckle up, buttercup. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm going to turn my back to you. So I like to, to craft and stitch in season. And so I saw um, Holly at Mrs. Jones Stitches. She did, I don't know. Oh, I know. I have the, let me show you hers. I made this little pillow. It's, there's not a pattern. I just kind of followed what she did and I loved it so much. So I just grabbed some scrap fabric I had and made it. I love this. Let me show you hers. I, this is my inspiration. So here's her piece on uh, Instagram. And so I just kind of like did my own thing. Similar. I love it though. And that was so nice of her to share that on Instagram. So, um, I could follow along. You know that this would instantly become, become a projectile at my house, right? Yes. There's not small children at my house. <laughs> okay. So I did my first circle finish. I had lots of difficulty with my circle. So I used the Fat Quarter Shop's pre-cut circle for my stitching. And this is a stitching with the housewives. Very blessed. I love it. And then I tried to cut my own circles for my matting and um, I got some feedback on Instagram that I should have wrapped it in batting and that would have smoothed out the janky, my janky cut marks. And then I had some rickrack I threw in there and I made my own little bow with a button. And this is just a cheese board that I got from the thrift store. So I love it very, very much. I'm happy with it. I cannot wait to try another circle finish. I do have in my shopping cart the circle templates that Chantel has at 141 Design. I think that'll help me and then like I said a lot of people on stitching with the housewives Facebook group gave me tips on like how to cut it cleaner and to hide where I didn't cut it clean because we're not plugging anybody today no no I just these are people I love these are my people so anyway those are my two finishes for um June so that that's when we last spoke was June my fully finishes then my finishes that just my finishes. I finished this one, another Stitching with the Housewife. Say? Wildflower Mix Coneflower Seeds. Oh. This was the, um, the called for Classic Color Works. The fabric is um, a navy from Hobby Lobby, their store brand. I really like the navy. 
there's the pattern. Yeah, I like the navy. They do all of their stitching on chalkboard black. Mm -hmm. So that really makes the colors pop. But I have a hard time seeing on the black and I really like navy better. So I've been, so anyway, I'm gonna make this into like a little pillow. I think it's a super... projectile. Another projectile if it was in Abby's house. <laughs> and then remember the sky. Oh, you finished him. And I finished him because I ran out of floss. So like I ran out of the, whatever this color is right here. And so I have to order some one more skein. And the color lot is a little different, but that's okay. It's hot hand dyed, the classic color works. I love this. This is so pretty. See, you are getting into the Halloween spirit. Yeah, I guess. Well, so like on the 13th, the 13th, the 30th, and the 31st, I try to do dark stitching. So like fall or Halloween. Okay. And then for like the 24th, 25th, I try to do Christmas. You know, there's, I try to... There's a method, method <laughs> to the madness. There's a method. Okay. And then, oh, and then this was that pattern was the month to month. So I did this, I didn't do the small yet. So those are that. And then I have um, another finish. So um, this is a last minute finish. So um, I have my entry form completed. I'm emailing it tomorrow. I talked to the lady about my sizes and my stitches. And so the one I did with the pink barn that I've shown you guys a million times, that counts as a small. And then I was looking at what I had finished that could maybe be a medium size so I can do another entry. And I had this one done from last year. It's all fun and games until you end up on the naughty list. Um, so I've already started mounting it. I mounted it on this piece of board here. And then this came in the mail today, some press on board. So I've got too much of a border here, like it's too wide. So I was going to use this fabric. You want me to hold it up so that you can get like the whole. <laughs> I was gonna do something like this. I'm gonna zhuzh it like this. Okay. Like this? Like that? Oh, okay, okay, I like it. Thank you. And then I've got, and I don't know if it'll be too much. I've got some things. And I might break those off. Yeah, Abby's not loving them. No. I might put those at the top. Goodness ah, gracious. Ah. I'm dropping everything. See, this is just reminding me to come shop at her house. These are some tags I got last year on clearance. So I'm definitely gonna put one of these tags on there. And then I did have this one sad little Christmas pick I could find easily. So anyway, I have some old fashioned Christmas. And this is a really pretty bundle. I love, I mean, I would love to use this. Look at that, those big motifs. Oh, those are really cute. They, those would get lost oh, though oh, as a background. Oh, oh, totally. And the reds don't go with the other reds. So I can't mix them. So, oh, here it is. Yep. It's in red. It's in red. I love it in the red. I think it's also in a green. I love the, the green. The green was on top, wasn't it? No, oh, no, green the and white. cream, yeah. Cream. Yeah, this is a really pretty bundle. Oh my goodness, I love every little bit of it. Mm -hmm. Actually, I really love the next one. The next one. Oh, that holly. Love it. Just, just keep. Keep looking. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, those were my it's like choices. A burlesque show <laughs> fabric. A burlesque fabric show. <laughs> just keep stripping oh. off fat quarters. Okay, so that just took a turn. Okay, so let me <laughs> clean up. You're expecting you invited me. So along. anyway, let me let me know what you think of that. Um, oh, and let me show you one more thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> Listen, Pause. I just come around and chaos explodes. Because I'm not used to having two people in this small <laughs> room. And then I started, I painted this this evening, one coat of brown. This is going to be my board. But I also got, I might leave it brown. My original plan is I have some Waverly chalk paint. And I might paint it. No, I'm saying no. And I was thinking about scuffing it up, but she's thinking the barn. I think in the barn because like your colors are just already yeah. so nice. Yeah, and this has got a little bit of brown in it. Yeah, and so I think the pat because not only is it colored, but it's patterns. Okay. I think having that nice brown is going to keep give it that just that something finish. <laughs> Chef's kiss. A chef kiss. Okay. Anyway, let me sit this here. Let me put the paints here. How about you, Abby? What do you got next? Well, let since I live in a world of perpetual whips, let me bring some more. <laughs> but, oh yeah, yeah, all this bad boy out. Oh yeah, you still got the mark. She still got her her mark lines on there. That yeah, you do. I do. So, <laughs> what'd you turn on? 
a fan. <laughs> it's getting a little yeah. hot up in here with us in it. It's a little hot. Woo! It's gonna cool off. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, here, let me just set this. I don't even know where. Okay, here we go, folks. So this is what I'm finally fondly calling the bumblebee quilt. Um, I'm learning that it's almost near impossible for me to get this big bad boy underneath my machine. Um, so it's been a fun time quilting. Do you have the little corner? So I've been Oh, do I have that corner? You do, right there. So I'm also, because I got to be a little bit extra, I decided that one in every quilt row of these honeycomb, I'm going to add the little... What'd you call it earlier? I said it reminded me of Sashiko stitching. Here, look folks. That visible mending where you do like the, just the long stitches and you want it to be shown. They even make Sashiko sewing machines. That, that's uh -huh. all they do. Oh, I learn something new every day. But yeah, this will look great when you get um, your, your quilting lines out of it and get it finished up. Yeah. So I love the blues and yellows together. I like this one a lot. Was, so was this a bundle of fabric? It was. It was. It That's was really on cool. clearance. Clearance. And I just had to have it because it just made my heart happy. So it came home with me. Yeah, it's really pretty colors. This is what my. That's why I shouldn't work there because just that's where my paycheck ends up staying. Mm -hmm. You know what? I was talking to um, a lady who works at the the Goodwill store, mm -hmm. and I and I made that comment. Oh, I couldn't work here because like I would just like leave my paycheck here for all the goodies. She said they are not allowed to shop. There is like one day a month they're allowed to shop, and the and it's not like a consistent one day. Listen, that my would store work. would lose so much money if it told its employees that we couldn't shop there every time we I worked. Know, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, I understand <laughs> they want to, like, you know, not take all the good stuff, but, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so let's put that away. Um, Let's talk about... So we did our... We're, we're still doing your whips. Let Are me... we still doing my whips? Um, Or do you want to... <laughs> See, she's got a basket too, folks. Get a basket. This I get it. I get it honestly. Yes, you get it honest. I get it honest. Okay, so What's let's this? do my crust. What's that? That's a stitching with the housewives bag. Oh, this is new. This and this is new. is new. This is their new, their new month to month, like the October one I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like they're done with that series, and now they're doing ones called monthly weigh-in, like vintage scales. You know, I already have vintage mm -hmm. scales. I like that kind of stuff. You do. But anyway, I didn't sign up for that club, but I am going to purchase some of them. But anyway, so in this bag, let's talk about my cross stitch whips. And again, I think I talked about last time how the floss bling is just rocking my world. And I, I've been watching videos. This is pretty simple to make, but then I was thinking, I just enjoy buying them from other people and letting them make them because... I don't have enough ribbon here. Just pick up another hobby. You really don't. <laughs> Love those. Like, let me tell you, trying to get this second chair in here today, bit of a struggle. It was a struggle. So here's the pattern. And if you remember from last month, I said I did this little row like three times. I was having a bad month last month. Like nothing was going right for me. But I made a lot of progress. It's really pretty. This is fabric that I hand dyed. Um, I'm using the call for classic color work colors and I'm following the pattern. I love it very, very much. And last, last month I was talking about how the garden season was a no-go because it was a drought. Now where are we at? It's still hot. Now it's just hot and wet. It's just like tropical out but there. But it's not even, it's not even wet like let's get out of the drought wet. It's just sticky. It's gross. I took the kids to Devil's Den today and let me tell you within five minutes of them just standing outside in the sun. Yeah. Mm. We live in uh, Gettysburg also known as a swamp right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's bad. So my garden, my tomato plant is like loving life. None of my flower seeds took because it was just too dry and I couldn't keep up with them, keep them moist enough with our water restrictions where we live. Um, so I do have more seeds that I'm putting out again and trying again, so we'll see. Yeah, our, our tomato plant just died. Yeah. It decided I give up. But our, uh, what are some of the green, the green onions? Okay. The ones with the, the, the stems and you green chop them up? Green, green onions. onions, okay. We, she, we, she has like containers at her house. 
So that's thriving to the point where our neighbors are even taking some stems like once a week and it just pops back up and is doing really well, shockingly. So here's a new start. So it's a whip and a new start. And it is fair season. So I thought I would do this chart. Little House Need Work State Fair. Stitching it on one of my most favorite types of fabric, the Carolina Linen Ada. 14 count called for colors didn't make it very far i just started this one let me show you the colors so they're more of a they remind me of like a i don't know like a prim 1980s country definitely not my style not your style but definitely yours uh, yeah, maybe a little, maybe not as bright as I like, but very yeah. pretty. I mean, it's, I have yarn that looks like that. There you go. Ah. So that is a new start. I don't believe I'll get that done. I'll work on this. I'm going to keep working on the garden one this month. I'm going to work on this one this month and probably next month. And I do not have time on my hands. <laughs> I do not. I do not have time. My, I just don't have little people in my life. They, I do have little people. They just don't live with me. We can okay. change that if you want one. So this bag, I, I need another bag because <laughs> this bag has two, two in it. So this one is, this is one that was on the wall of shame. Why is it on the wall of shame? Let me, I hope he doesn't know about the wall of shame. What is the wall of shame? Okay. So you want to reach after me like, put up the quilt <laughs> this is this is the land of misfit toys the items <laughs> that didn't quite make the cut so i believe this pattern here suffrage act which is also another little house needleworks pattern i think i started this one yep i did so this i started last year on this feel that it's some weird fabric like the color's good, but the fabric's weird, right? It feels weird. I sure I don't feel this cross... fabric. Well, my honest opinion, they feel the same. No, they're different. So this one is a no-go. This is the new one, and the white's really popping. So all I did was I dipped this in tea, and then I added a little black to get those murky little colors. So my white pops. Love this. Oh, pop quiz. Top what pitch. what year did, oh, the, no. did the women get the right to vote? Don't look at the pattern. <laughs> let's see if that... Let's see how long I've been out of school, folks. Um, let's see. I can remember the fashion of the time. No. Which the... was roughly the mid-1800s. No? Our tuition dollars were greatly wasted on you, child. <sighs> Private school and college, 1920. 19 really yeah right 1920 is when we got the right to vote what? i know isn't that mind-blowing so this is one most of my stitches are like crafty like they're just like they go on this or that this one when it gets done it's gonna be educational it is and it's gonna get framed and it's gonna be museum glass on it and my granddaughters will know 1920, 1920 which will seem like so long ago to them but it's really, it's really not it's really not we just hit the hundred. We just have had the right to vote for a hundred years. That's it, really. Then this is my other. I, I didn't get to start it. Somebody didn't have all the floss. I didn't have the colors, but this is this was supposed to be my Fourth of July start. I bought it last year. I was so looking forward to starting it this year. That's cute. Cute. <laughs> See, Abby's not into my stuff. So anyway, I had, out of all the floss I own, these were the only two colors I had, which are very pretty. I found these two colors at Joann's. Walmart. What? I don't live near a Joann's. So, and then the rest of them, I just today bought off Fat Quarter Shop's website, so they should be coming. Oh, I got one more at Walmart, and I think I'm not going to use that. That orange is too orangey. You gotta... And then this is a piece of fabric that may or may not get used. I'm not sure it's all wrinkly, but um, heavy, heavy tea dyeing. I mean, it, I like it. I like it too. And it's like the white's really going to pop off of that. Yeah, but will the brown? That's my question. What do y'all think? Think yeah. that's going to pop? Or should I, yeah, I don't know. I'll do a couple stitches 
and see. I couldn't even start it because I like to start in the top left. Which would be the... The orange tassels, which I don't think I'm going to use. And then green. I didn't have their green. Like, I have green, but I want to use their green because they pick good colors, right? So, anyway, that goes in. So, that one will be... Um, worked on a bunch hopefully the rest of this month and then it'll get put away for next year in season let's see what you got going on what's one of your whips? all right another one of my whips is the only project bag i own that i made that she made and it's going to be a beach quilt that we take to the beach or to the pool let me hold it some blocks up so this is only Again, from that same book you got see well yeah so this one's the perfect 10 so this is the one that the bumblebee came out of so one's perfect five which does more of like the lap quilt and the charm charm squares are five charm squares and then this will be the no. fat no this no. is layer cake ten, layer cake. 10 inches is a layer cake layer cake if I, it's moda fabric so actually this is probably like a stacker because it's not moda fabric it's a, it's it's like kleenex it's a trade name so what other, is this it? Just these oh, two? Oh, I have, is there more fabric for this? Ooh, there should be. Where's that? Where's so you can see we have vastly different tastes. Ha -ha! So I've got the rest of them here, but pretty, very pretty. So this one has pineapples oh, in it. Show them this one. This is pretty. Very beachy or swim pool season. And then there's one with like little hibiscus flowers. Pretty, pretty pink. And then because I, again, like, I just don't like having, oh, well, you, they, they're separated. Oh, she has them separated in her very fancy project bags. I know, right? Do because they're all very light, very fresh. I went and I got this. This was a fat quarter that I got off the wall of the place that I won't name that I work. And it's like these dark green pineapples, just to give it like a little bit more depth. It's a good idea. Yeah. 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 Just, just, just because everything else is so white and so bright. I thought it's very pretty. Not. Very, very pretty. I look forward to seeing the progress you make on this. Hopefully, it can be done by Christmas. Fingers crossed. So while she gathers up, let's just jump back into some cross stitch. I think this is a new bag that I got. I don't think I should. I don't know if I showed you that. If I had it last month or not. Very cute. Get my little Lori Holt charm on. So let's see what project. Oh, this is another one. Wall of shame. Wall of shame. Not oh, once, but twice. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is for Laney Bugs. So this is okay. for one of my granddaughters. We call her Miss Laney Bugs or Ladybug. It's a crochet go go pattern. I started it last summer. And let's see what we got here. We've got. So this. This was some of that weird fabric again that I did not like. So, so then last <laughs> month I told you I was restarting it on white and I was so excited because I like pink and I did the pink flowers and it does look good, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't right. It wasn't scratching the itch. <laughs> it wasn't. So I went back to my tried and true, my 14 count Carolina, Ada, linen, whatever they call it from Wally World. And I'm doing the called for colors on this fabric. So my third start someday. Is it that third start on the same fabric? Third start on different fabric. So here's the first fabric. No, no, no. I meant like out of the, all the stars that you showed us, isn't this the same fabric as the others that you've started? The suffrage. Suffrage is on there. And the knee high by 4th of July is different. I think that was white that I, no, cause that's blue. What was this one? This is the same fabric. So you got three starts. So this is this is it. This is this is that's my fabric. This yeah. is home to you. This is my jam. This is your home. So anyway, that's where we're at on that one. I can't believe you have a wall of shame. I do. I like yeah. Like I just cut them off and like so that one was that was a so no go. Why do, you, why do you keep them? Just to remind myself that it's okay. It didn't change your mind. 
I like that. Oh, I love this one that you are doing. I know. I love I that love pattern. It. It's by, this pattern's by Doreen Jones. Oh, it's so cute. I love them so much. And I love the fabric. I dyed that fabric. But I just could not. It's like old school cross stitch, which means there's like a lot of fractional stitches and back stitching. Oh. And Mama, Mama was getting frustrated. It's got the, I know, right? Isn't that beautiful? It's so pretty. So I, I, it I kept so the, much. Like, I love this black work up here. I kept the pattern. Do you want the pattern? Do you want to try oh, and cross no, stitch? I am not trying cross stitch. You know, I've got too many tiny children, little needles, no, no yeah. bueno. Yeah. So anyway, yes, that's why I keep the wall. I call it the wall of shame, but it's really just a reminder. It's it's okay. So should it be the wall of oopsies? It's the wall. It's the wall of okay to change your mind or the wall of it's too short to work with crappy materials that you don't like or how can we put a positive spin on that <laughs> life is too short to work with and i'm not allowed to bleed okay um my words i think my we can words. see what went wrong here oh wait oh oh, oh. <laughs> Look. but you know what that's actually really great because you have been doing Cross stitching. You've been sewing. You taught me to sew when started. You put me in your lap when I was what four? Three or four. So you've been doing this for so long, and the fact that you accept that oops is still happen is a very positive thing, even if you have the word shame on it. So anyway, yes, it hangs up on the bulletin board. So what do you have? I have a couple more whips. Oh, so if do you I. You guys are still with us. You hanging in there? Are we? Are we like squirreling here and there and everywhere? That's just my person. Are we going to have her as a guest again? <laughs> so, so the reason I have so many of these things cut is because when I get bored at work, Which, at my main job. Her main job. My main job. My desk job. Where I used to work. Yes. I, I, I sit at a desk all day, and so I bought myself a little, a little cutting board, a little ruler. She used to, like, draw like with pencil on her paper and she was using like the scissors. I, and I, I was, got yelled at. I was like, what are you doing? No, no, come to mama. She will take care of you. So I bought a bunch of miniature stuff so that on my breaks or if we're really, really slow and I have some downtime, I could cut out squares. Well, now I have so many squares cut. And so I actually saw this thing. It's like a handheld stitching machine where it's like a stapler, but it makes stitches. What? Yes, I'll show it to you later. I saw it on it's Instagram ad. And I was like, oh, wow, I should get that for work. So instead of just cutting a whole bunch of squares, I can sit there with my little stapler. Just chicka, 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 chicka. Tell her no. Just say no, Abby. I can't say no. No, just do it. Do it on a good machine. So this is... Remember what we talked about, crappy products? <sighs> I just want to try it. So this is going to be my fall... Well, let's get it out so we can, they can my see. My fall quilt. So I've got them in... You want me to keep them in, these, in this order? Yes, because this, this is so, so I have them like row by and then block. Look how pretty, I love this fabric. Yeah, so oh. this is going to be my fall quilt that I'm going to have like just thrown out um, for the kids this to snuggle I under. This I love, this I love. That wasn't part of the original bundle. I love a dot. This is um, the Quilter Showcase and we sold out of that like that. Yeah, that's that a great orange. Um, oh, there's some more guys. I'm sure the rest of the fabric is really pretty. I actually got, I got, I got like big pieces. Oh, okay. Yeah. Too. So, but I figured it was like a nice, it kind of reminds me of the colors that you like. So maybe that's why I was drawn to it. It felt really homey. Like, oh, if I want the kids to snuggle under a blanket while, you know, they drink cocoa because it's cold outside in the fall and we normally I'm sure have you get some wet, more wet uh, falls. This is where I kind of want them. This would make a great binding. Or a border. I don't, know, I don't know if they I have enough of that. And they don't sell that on the bolt, so. Out of luck on that one. Thank you. That is very pretty. I like that. Now, what's that pattern? Do you know what that pattern's called that you're making, or are you just making squares right now? You don't have a pattern yet? I have a pattern. It's all in that book. I should have grabbed the book as I walked out the door. It was right on my little table. But it's... Oh, Lord. Which one was it? So, the big quilts are all named after ice cream flavors okay and all the lap quilts are named after cookies we like snacks so yeah it's, it's I'm very food motivated in this household look familiar oh we're I have, twinsies we're twinsies so this is my anniversary stitch oh we just seen our anniversary our anniversary is on papa tom's birthday Six, seven, six, seven years. Six, six or seven. Yes. 
Okay. Wait, no, because Roman wasn't even one yet. And now he's six, so it's your six-year anniversary. Seven? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Listen, private education's not worth it, folks. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Take the vacation, spend the money. <laughs> Steve and I have been married six years. Oh, so I was right, and you were just making me feel bad. So, you sure? So Abby has a bonus dad. She has her dad dad. I my, my dad dad, and then I have my bonus dad. Yeah, dad dad and I were married for a lifetime. 28. Almost 30 years. 28 years. I don't know. And then, we all have learned my math is not my strongest. And then uh, we went our separate ways. And then we met Steve and we have Steve. Steven. He's our buddy. He's our everything. He's our Mr. Fix-It. He's a good guy. He's, he's cleaned my vacuum cleaner more times than I think he has. <laughs> and that is why, that's like, if you're... I mean, like, it's, it's a necessary <laughs> evil in life is to get your vacuum cleaner <laughs> clean, guys. And that is why I will never have to buy a new vacuum cleaner because mine looks new every time I use it. He cleans he does. It's awesome. It is. It's nice. Like he really takes pride. Oh, let me in his show. Things. Let me show you guys the pattern since. Um, oh shoot. Oh, I know. Oh, here it is. What you do with it? Oh, nuggets. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have a great picture. Here it is. It's my like a little Alaska type sampler, and I just have a little itty bitty start on it because again, I didn't have the floss. Like I look at that. I have all that floss, but I don't have the you colors. You have a massive amount of floss. But I didn't have the right ones. But look at the colors. And this is on 14 count. It's white. Um, the colors are just these soft, pretty pastels, which is so my jam. That is your jam. And I got them all on like my little floss drops and floss bitties. And like there's bitties. a Chris, yeah, I, and I don't, I think some people like, like this is a Christmas one. I think some people like they use this for Christmas and like they would use, and then they would take the Christmas. And then they would like take the floss off and I'm like, oh no, my friend, I don't have time for that. So like this one for will forever be 733. So sometimes it might be in a Christmas chart. Sometimes it's an Alaska Slampler. I don't know. But yeah, that's how I do mine. My little, these are called floss bitties. At that store, I'm not supposed to plug because apparently I, I shop there too much. <laughs> Just wait, is that the one where you got that VIP customer email? <laughs> Yes, yeah, Steve. Steve came home today. I guess today was my work at home day, so he came home. So he got the mail, and he dropped it on too. He's like, "We got boxes." <laughs> like one of them might be something for you, and he's like, "I don't think so." <laughs> Return address doesn't look right. <laughs> you, you shot your shot. It didn't work. One of the the one was for him though. Oh, okay, so the one. The one. How many were there? There was just two. One for each of us. His, his, and, her, his and her packages today. Um, he got he got a um, Browning is the name of a of a gun. It's the shotgun. Right? Yeah, right? it's yeah. his new shotgun, and he just got um, a a new choke in it, which is a tube you screw into it, so it makes your your shot either tighter or looser depending what you're shooting. Anyway, so anyway, he's got an extra choke, and so like. He likes all this stuff, like. Oh, I think I think we explained with the vacuum cleaner how he likes his stuff. So, so we got, so we ordered the Browning little zipper case that you can open up and put all your chokes in, so they're all together and they're all. Wait, so they're all they're different? Like it's not just like one thing that you can like tighten or loosen? No, no, it depends on what you're shooting. So like. No, like I thought maybe it was like one item and then you like no, tightened it or loosened it. Like, no, it no, wasn't... no, it's like a double barrel, like mine, and over under. So okay. over under means that you have two barrels, like I know this isn't the shooting channel, but you have two barrels like this, like old school Western. So when you're doing like um, trap, sporting clay, skeet, you know, you have, you have two, they're loaded. <laughs> and they're they not like this, which is like where you get your sawed off shotgun kind of stuff. Right. Not like your movies. <laughs> The gangster movies. No, no, Western. We're more Western. So anyway, chokes, you screw them in the top, and it changes the pattern of the BBs. Uh -huh. So like oh, if you're BB? shooting something far away, you want it really tight, so it travels further before it opens up to shoot the clay bird. If you're shooting something close, like on the ground, like a rabbit. You want it to release sooner so that it can. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> and that's exactly what the rabbit will do, folks. Boom. And we don't, no, not real rabbits, because they're, they're lovely. We just shoot fake ones like clay ones and we don't eat bunnies in this household 
when children will lose their minds. No, well, I told you. Did I tell you what um, Elena said one time? We were at. Oh uh, no! So we were. Elena, like, Elena is the lose canon of the family. <laughs> She's my son's eldest daughter. She just turned seven. So anyway, we're out to supper one night. Steve and I have the kids out to supper. The little kids, her and her brother, and. And we all got different things, of course, because we were at a diner and I got fried chicken. And I was like, would you like a piece of my chicken? And I don't even know how the conversation went, but she was like, wait, you're eating chicken? Oh, no. That's a bird. Grandma, that's a bird. That's disgusting. <laughs> I, I didn't realize we had one of those in the household. <laughs> I didn't have the heart to tell her that her meat sauce on her spaghetti <laughs> came from a cow. No. Oh. No. And like she said it's so loud, everybody in the restaurant was like, Grandma, you're disgusting. I, was like, I guess we're not eating chicken anymore. <laughs> no, we're just soft baby. So anyway, so anyway, we don't we don't hunt in this family because we'd have traumatized grandchildren. <laughs> we would be disgusting and cruel. So how about you? What do you got next? <laughs> I've got oh, this is the last one that I cut before we went on vacation. So, you know, we shut down for two weeks. Now this one, I am very excited to start. I only have the color blocks cut out. Oh my gosh, this looks like something your grandma would like, Grandma Dorothy. Yes, so it's, it is, so I have a Oops. weird thing about my house. I love lemons. I love lemons. There's a lot of lemon cross stitch. That was a hot topic this spring. Well, so like, I like, you know how much I love Greece, right? Well, they used to talk about the lemon orchards on Grecian islands. And so, oh, I thought you meant Grease the movie. No. Like I've Grease like me. No. No. Oh, you're talking about like. Like, like actual Grease, like the country. Sorry. So I saw this fabric come in and I thought in my little head, I need it all. It's beautiful. So I got it all. And then I was Ooh. like, I need a color that kind of goes with it, but is it like. I like that blue with it. But the yeah. lavender goes too. Well, so like the flowers and the butterflies on this green one yeah, have I've, like this very light purple pop. Yeah, I wouldn't have matched those up. Let me show them to them. I wouldn't have done that, but that does look really good together. Look at how there's the butterfly and then there's the little lap. Yeah. Yeah, so it kind of brings out that tiny little purple that's in there. And purple, purple's such a nice soothing color too. This is what she's leaving her kids someday. They'll inherit a bunch of zippy bags of squares. <laughs> My, she, my child, will inherit. <laughs> and then I will just pass that on. <laughs> as, as each granddaughter walks into this room, every time my mother goes, this will all be yours one day. Very Lion King. Very Mufasa to Simba. <laughs> where where the light touches, that craft shall then be yours. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so I picked up that. Um, is this a singer? That other? Is this a singer? I think there? it is. I think you have a thing for singers. No. No, this one is... Yeah. This is a Kenmore. So I got Kenmore. that like, little cute blue Kenmore that I probably had on Instagram. Anyway, it's it's a darling machine. It's a real machine, but it's very simple. And I, you know, had Elena use it and she, and she was like, it's okay, Grandma, but I like yours better. Because mine has the speed control and she didn't ha she couldn't control the speed mm. on the other one. So again, life is short. Use the good tools. So she already knows. She's like, no, I'm not. I'm not taking the 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 Kenmore grandma that can go to Lilith. I want your machine. Well, Lilith, I want the quantum stylus grandma. <laughs> Lilith actually got to sit on my lap for the first time with the sewing machine. Lilith will be two in September. So she was sitting in between my legs because she's, as little children do, love the pin cushions because they're sharp and yeah, you, yeah, and you're not supposed to have them. Now that's the thing. So I let her. I handed her them to her like this as I pulled them out. I said. Here you go, Lilith, and she would grab them by the, you know, the little ball at the end. She'd hold it, and she'd put it in the pincushion for me, and she'd smush them. Ouch. She was fine with that, because she can't poke herself with the little balls there. That's good. And you know what? She'd be left the desk alone the rest of the day. Because she, she got her, she got, she got the fix. She got the itch it. She got the, she got the fix of it. So uh, that's going to be her thing fitch. now. Speaking of the... Ooh, I love it. A little spooky. This is by a designer called Teresa Kogut. She does cross stitch patterns, which I don't think I've done any of hers, but she's also an artist. Um, and and uh, she does like a uh, fabric design. Yes, I couldn't think. I'm like I I wanted. I was I thinking that. of something, but then I stopped. Oops. I guess I got thread in the zipper. So I did not make this bag. This is a bag that I purchased online by from what's that say? PT Bags. Yes. And. Um, 
I have yet to make one like this. It's like fully lined. It's a super, that's a super nice bag. I thought oh, it was yeah. like about the vinyl bags. So like seeing my projects, but I'm after I bought one from somebody, because this one's a lined one too. Yeah. I, I like that. So this house is my new current. This is from last year. Oh, you just posted that one on Instagram, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Because I didn't have all the stitch cards. So these use, Lori Holt is a designer, and she puts out, they go through the alphabet with, like, stitch cards. So this is set oh, D. Okay. And so, like, to get you to buy them all, like, she uses one on this Halloween. <laughs> so, so I have to buy these to have that. But this one is a cute one, because I like the other motifs, and I could yeah. use that. And then, like, this is switched out using, like, the fall colors. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, like, maybe I didn't make the best choice of this. Maybe that I should purple change. really. Yeah, it kind of got lost. I mean, you could outline it in black to give it just a little extra. Oh. I'm just going to continue on. I'm a soldier okay. on. Soldier. I'm a soldier on. And then, yep, here's the other stitch cards. This was set F. Okay. Aren't those cute? They are cute. I like the little witch hat. Yeah, I, yeah. And then I made a mistake here, and so I forgot to do that. Gotcha. Things happen. Yeah. Mistakes happen. Mistakes happen. They don't always have to go on the wall of shame. No, no. They can be. So this is the pattern. It was a 2020 mix and match. Mm -hmm. And they're... And so this is just, oh, okay. so this one just came in the mail. It's the hot <gasps> cocoa mug. That is cute. Yep. This one here. So this is the hot cocoa mug. I just showed Abby. I have that in my haul. And then the other one I don't have yet is this crow. And I think that was on vintage farm girl. I don't think that was a stitch card. I'm not sure, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to uh, purchase just for that. I think I might just put in like another quilt block or another. Okay. Yeah. So that is my new, well, this is from last year. So that, Because we do things in season. Yes. Unlike <laughs> me who just. And uh, so this will be my, I'm like, I think I'm gonna have a hard time because like, I realized like, as I was watching Floss 2 uh -oh. tonight, <laughs> um, edit, edit. That there's a, I like, I like Halloween. I like fall. I like Christmas. I like winter. Mm. Those are like all those patterns. God I'm forbid like, that she likes it when it's hot, sticky. Hot, I sticky. Y'all should have seen her on our trip to Disney in August. That was the beginning of the end for your dad and I. It I, I, been, wasn't, it I, wasn't, I wasn't even <laughs> thinking of that. I, I was, was just, I was just, it was almost the end for you and I. <laughs> it was almost the Listen, it was my birthday trip, and we fought about who got to stay next to Cinderella because those are the important things when you're in your 20s important. and 40s. We both were crying. Like, you were crying. I was just mean. I, I would say I would insert a picture here because I like doing that, but it's probably buried in some scrapbook. But, uh, yeah, we're both by Cinderella. Her dad sent us to our own corners. Cinderella just stood there like... I don't get paid enough for this nonsense. <laughs> it's usually the little kids that are upset. <laughs> and then it was we, not good. And then we had our meal. Was it lunch or dinner? It was lunch. So then we went to the castle to have our lunch, and nobody spoke to each other. And, and then that was the only time where Dad and Andrew got along. <laughs> yeah, because they were they were in their point in life where they were just constantly butting heads. And you at know, that moment, teenagers. at that moment, they were like, "Whoa." <laughs> What is going on with these two? <laughs> it was August. It was Florida. Florida. Enough said. It was just too hot. <laughs> like it was usually the two and three year olds having pan, you know, not panic attacks. They're just tantrum. full meltdowns. <laughs> no, it was a forty year old woman because she didn't get to stand next to Cinderella. <laughs> I like Cinderella. It was my birthday. Your trip. birthday's in. February. It was my birthday trip. <laughs> We were going to celebrate my 21st and Andrew's 18th. Yes, yes. Even though the 18-year-old really was not He there. didn't want to be there. No, he didn't. But we had a good time. We did have a good time. It we was did. A good, we're laughing about it now, but we did it was, have a It was a really great time. It really was. It, it was, was fun. It was, it was nice. I can't wait to go back again. That was the last time I've been there. You haven't been since either. We have not. We've been trying to get a plan together to try to go back. So that's where we want to we wanna tie the knot. People are going to get married? Why? I thought you guys just have children and nobody gets married anymore. What's, what's wrong with you guys? I'm so happy. I'm kidding, folks. I, I love the idea of marriage. I love it. 
I, I, I think I'll tolerate him for the rest of my life. He's an okay guy. We'll keep him. <laughs> well, he's okay. We'll keep him. No, so, but, uh, yeah. He makes pretty babies. We'll keep him. <laughs> <laughs> There's not going to be any more babies, folks. So, anyway, <laughs> this people. is not the family therapy session. <laughs> <laughs> it always turns into family therapy. Halloween. This will be my next one. Show them first. That's fine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I like. Oh, it's so cute. Right? Yeah. That's a stitching with the housewife pattern. Okay. And then, good. and then look at this. I dyed this. Isn't this funky? <gasps> oh, I love that. Isn't that cool? See, I love the like. A lot of people only will stick to the orange and black for Halloween. No, I like purple a lot. But, well, like, you're seeing a lot more of that purple on lime green get punched in, and it's really yeah. starting to make, like, And I love this. Season. This is, like, a cake pedestal with yeah. mixing bowls. And, like, yeah, I thought you'd like, and there's a, a scale with the pumpkin. Yeah. And, yeah, and then I, I already pulled, like, this fabric. Oh, I love, oh, that reminds me of the Christmas one, kind of, sort of. How it had, like, that graphic. I love this. Was it a flat quarter bundle I got for something from Flat Quarter Shop <laughs> that I'm not sponsored by? But I love that store so much. Um, let's see. Does it say? No, I don't. The salvage doesn't no, say. It's, it's I must have up. used the rest of it for something else. Oh, I made um, the kids' trick or treat baskets out of them or bowls or what but were they? The, they're, they're trick or treat baskets. But so every year we go trick or treating at whatever campground that grandma and grandpa go camping at. Well, I guess Grandma didn't understand how big the hall was going to be because these <laughs> things were literally like this big. They were like four years old. They needed little ones. No. No. We ended up, myself and my partner ended up carrying all the candy in our costume pouches because of how much they got. You like that fabric too? That's a, probably a, that's a Walmart or a Joanne's fabric. That's a Walmart fabric. So that'll be my next... Um, my next Halloween. I might get two Halloweens gone. Okay, Abby, your turn. Your My turn. turn. <laughs> oh, and let me show you. I know I've showed you guys this before, but look, this is a bag I made. Look at that. I yeah. see. I love the dot. Look at that. You like the spider? Oh, I like the spider. She likes the spider. She likes creepy things. It's not that I like creepy things. I just leave, live with creepy things. I like I like cutesy Halloween. I don't like scary Halloween. I I am very. I'm on that edge, man. I'm on the edge. I'll watch the cute stuff with the kids, and then I'll hide under blankets when, when the, the, the actual scary stuff comes out. Okay, what's your next whip? All right, so it's more of a summer one, so we'll go from so we're reversing time from Halloween. And it is a watermelon quilt. Oh, that's so pretty. That was on clearance. Oh my that gosh, was that on is clearance. so I'll pretty. That. Here, let me show you guys this one. And I decided that I'm going to do that oh, with black. To help make it pop better. Yeah, that's now this black is fabric that I got from work for free. Oh, it's it's suiting fabric. It what what and I washed it like four times so it won't shrink anymore. I wonder what kind of material that is. It's a hundred percent super wool. It feels good. Yep. So I'm gonna use that. It definitely got some stretch to it though, you gotta be careful. I'll be careful. I love it. Uh, I love that black it. is just going to help make like all the, the, the seeds pop. It's going to make these like the greens. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. I thought it would be a nice picnic quilt where if the kids spill things, it'll be easy to clean up. It's nice. I like it. Is that all the prints that you had there? Is uh, that, is that yeah. everything? I think I showed them all. Yeah. 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 Do you have any finished blocks yet or no? no. Not yet. No. These are, these are just, I... I got them all cut. Now I just got to get my little hand stitcher and just. So this one, I don't think I made any progress on. This is my Christmas stitch. And right now is Jolly July. So pretty much most of the cross stitchers on Floss Tube and wherever Instagram, they're all stitching Christmas because the goal is they want to like get them all done so they can display them for Christmas. Makes sense. Makes sense. Like almost like retail. Like you're working ahead, but yeah. I I like to stitch in season, except for the 24th and 25th is Christmas, and the 13th and the 31st are Halloween, or dark stitch. Dark stitch. So I didn't make much progress. I don't think I I don't know if I picked it up or not this year, this month, this year, this month, this month, this year. Yeah. Did you pick it up at all this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the little wagon. Yeah, I mean it's, it's a cute. really it's a cute pattern. I love it. I just like see I'm not feeling it right now because I'm really like more into summery stuff. But I gotta, I gotta get on that one. 
Okay, so that concludes my cross stitch whips. I have haul, like purchases. Haul? Where's, where's your haul at? Do I gotta get up and get it? No, it's behind me. Okay. Do you have more to show? I've got, I've got two more. Well, come keep showing them. All right, and I'll just bring out both right now real quick. Bring them, bring them, so, girl. We're here, to, we're here for the show. So this one is gonna also be in black. It is another tropical quilt. It's gonna be a lap quilt. This one's gonna be for my daughter she is very into the bright bright colors the brighter the better so we've got some flamingos oh this makes me think of kathy from two needles pulling thread i know you don't know i don't know her but i'm glad that it reminds you of something yeah she's a great floss tuber her and her sister-in-law missy do a floss some tube bright oranges some bright pinks oh i like this one Oh, that is so More pink flamingos. So cute. Some fun pineapples. I have a thing for pineapples, but not for swingers. So they're not upside down. Don't worry. I have no idea, and I don't think I want to know. <laughs> You're in the camping world. You should know. And then just to, like, round off everything, we have, like, this fun little green stripe that kind of just reminds me of, like, palm trees, in a sense, the colors. So I think it'd be a fun graphic. This one's gonna be a weird kind of pinwheel. I showed it to you, where it almost looks like it's a pinwheel, but it's got like little offshoots. And then this one's gonna be a garden quilt. I think Abby just likes cutting fabric. She hasn't <laughs> sewn anything, but there's- I a, did sew things. There's a lot of cut up fabric. There's a lot of cut up fabric. That's what she has time for. That is what I have time for. So I'm thinking of actually auctioning this one off at work so we are part of a union and i was trying to think of ways to raise money that's a white on white that's my white on white that's actually oh, left good. over from the bumblebee quilt yeah there you oh there's a good image of it that looks nice like that you can see it so this is one i'm going to auction off to raise money for our union so that if somebody has to go out for for any reason whatsoever we're able to help maybe give them a hundred dollar gift card for food to help tie them over that's really nice so We've got these fun ones. So this one, they're really, they're cut up small, so you can't really tell too much, it. but they're little potted plants and they actually have the name of the potted plant next to it, which I think is super cute. Oh, that is cute. That is super cute. And then we have just a, oh, I like this green a lot. Just a nice, nice filler green. We have ones again, it's just like, like, it's like, oh, like little a garden carts and house plants yeah this one is you graphic to, plants you need to be sewing you need to come over and sew i need to be sewing i need my children to not interrupt me um <laughs> and that's never gonna happen so these quilts will be done in about 20 years folks uh, i'm working on it i have only years so i gave megan her quilt a wedding quilt you made her it. wedding quilt we have a picture of it i have a picture of it with roman with it okay well we'll insert a picture of is that the first one you finished? That was my first quilt ever. She, her, her best friend from high school um, married her high school sweetheart after how many years? 15 years. 15 years. 15 years. Old. They weren't sure yet. It took them 15 <laughs> years to figure it out. So a uh, very sweet couple. So Abby made them a quilt. I'll put a picture right here. Yep. They here. Go. Here. Wherever it ends up. Somewhere. Somewhere. Again, Maybe I'll put it over my face so you can see Abby in her quilt. <laughs> Um, no, but yeah, so I gave it to them and they opened it on their honeymoon after they made it down to Florida. Nice. And so they uh, took it everywhere on awesome. their little road trip. Awesome. Awesome. So I have Hall. Oh, Hall, do you have anything? Are you good? Hands in time. A moment like this. Let me, okay, let me show you my really cool thrift store find. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? It was like six or seven bucks. Oh, I had a customer the other day who was asking for small scissors. And I said, oh, you're looking for nippers? And he went, pardon? They're nippers. <laughs> I'm like, they're nippers. He's like, that is the word I will always use for these things. I, this is one little, I was got out my, this week since I finished my, my layer cake quilt, got that all bound up and everything. I started back on my great granny square Lori Holt pattern using my Riley Blake camping fabric, which I don't have it out to show you guys right now, but remember I had a box come and I got the special sale. <gasps> okay, so this came today. Abby's gonna love this. Oh, he's so cute. Her, her. I saw this last year. I didn't get it. It was on my wish list. So I bought it this year. What? What? I didn't, 
I am trying to not quote Harry Potter right now. Oh, you quote Harry Potter? I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed, or worse, expelled. Isn't that That's what that reminds me of, is Hermione just sitting there with a book. Yeah, that's Silver Creek Samplers. I don't... Silver Creek Sam I don't think I've done... It's Mary Rodder's Spelling Lesson. I don't think I've done a pattern by her before, but I really like her patterns. And then, um... Since I did I have this problem with having the floss, I just ordered it with the pattern. I did check my master list and I didn't have it. You have a master list? I do have a master list. It's right here. So when floss comes into the house, it gets highlighted. This just puts my, <laughs> my cup corner in my house to shade. And it goes in this little bag. Oh my gosh, it even goes in a bag? With the ruler to measure oh the floss. <laughs> so I can put it on its floss bitties. And here's floss waiting to go on its bitties. I'm organized. I know you she's, and Steve. She's organized. Steve fears for his life and he walks in this room. He's scared of it. But it is, there's a method to the madness. Listen, you know how my madness goes. There's so anyway, no method. So I got that. I got some sticky board for finishing. And speaking of my jam, so this, let's open this, this came today. So this is DMC Charles Craft Fiddler's Cloth, which I wanted to know the difference between this and this. This is my go-to. This is that 14 count Carolina linen DMC. Do they feel the same or are they just different in color? They feel the same to me, but then again, I'm not a... So I think I still like this one a little bit better, but this is Fiddler's Cloth. So anyway, that came. Those are my jams. My hot cocoa mug. A little snow mayonnaise. So, oops, sorry, the pattern's on the... No, that's not the pattern, it's just picture. So that'll be like in those Halloween-y colors. Okay. This is from the thrift store. Won't that make a cute finish? I can put something right here. I don't cross stitch, so I don't know. Oh, so these are the circles, the pre-cut sticky board I bought. And then they had a second size, but I didn't understand how small they were. So I don't even know. I think maybe these are for the tart pan finish. I don't know, they're pretty tiny. I need a size bigger than this. If my, I'm gonna mount the stitching on this size, I need one bigger for the fabric that I don't have to hand cut and make look silly. This stitch card I didn't pick out. This is part of my monthly club. So it's this one? All four of these are in here. You get all four. Oh, all four. Okay. Yep. I could see you using the hat for something. I'm not sure what, though. A little garden one with a little spring, like the flower, this. Maybe. I got this pattern. It's on a, I think... I think I got that because it was on a flash sale. This was on a flash sale. Don't worry, Steve. It was on sale. It's on sale. And I already have, I have this fabric to stitch on. Isn't that cute? Look at that. My little deer. Little deer. Merry Christmas, my deer. Ah. My deer, get it. My deer. I love, I love some puns. So, um, Here, where I get that from? this room is going to take me all day tomorrow to clean. Look. Oh! I wasn't sure about this. Look. So you can stick your bobbin with the thread yes. that it belongs to. So usually I just stack them together on a, on their peg holder. But this is genius. So that you can never get them mixed up. Yeah, because I don't like, like some people use a bobbin box and they have all their bobbin colors mixed together. No. They must go together. That is why, that's how you know which shade of pink you have because it's with its friend. I just, I just use black. You're an animal. <laughs> You're a monster. A monster. You are a monster. This is new. I would give these to you if I knew you were going to use them wisely. I'm not going to use them. No. I'm no, not going to use them wisely. I'll stick to my bobbin box, thank you. Oh, I think I saved this so I could show you guys from last time. That's the floss bling that I've been buying. I've been buying it off this Etsy store. High quality, very nice, quick shipping, super cute. 
This was on a flat flash sale. I haven't even look. I saved it to show you guys. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It's one of those fric friction friction erasable pens with mm -hmm. heat. Oh. See, I have these ones over here. Whoops, they came in a, a set of a bunch of different colors. But sometimes I feel like they're they're not as smooth. The mark on the fabric, I feel like they don't write like a pen will. So I, I wanted to try this one out because it's the same principle, but it's like, it it looks like it's more like gel-like. Don't look at me. I use that dried out $2 oh, do you use water soluble that? marker. No, I mean, you need, you need some good stuff. Here, I'll give you that one. Oh, thank you. Okay. Because I'm not pressing it. I'm oh. spritzed with water. Oh, I got these stitch cards just because they were cute and I've been wanting them. See, the heck will go with those. Because you can just do like a flower and like a red or something. And go. This was from the thrift store. 14 count Ada. Vintage some navy. Love it. These are super cute. I haven't even opened them yet. Flash sale Lori Holt greeting card. Just like little note cards with sewing themes on them. Thrift store 14 count Ada. Thrift store, look at this. Um, I don't think the picture's gonna do it justice. There we go. It's like a little pin keep. It's primitive, it's really not my jam, but I thought it was super cute. Super, super cute, and I got it for like three bucks. And then I got, okay, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Okay, You're so. You're never done. I'm done, I'm done. Like. July is like a no spend month. That's not true. <laughs> I was gonna say, where's the, where's the, the box? Where, where's the fam? Where's the fam? We have a budget for our hobbies. So this is that free pattern layer cake loop that I just fell in love with. That I made that quilt with. Um, free pattern fat quarter shop. What I love about it is you get those big chunks, so you can really see your design. Like you don't like when you cut them into small pieces. When you have stuff like this, you don't get to see the picture. So this was on sale. I got three layer cakes of it. I'm going to make myself a large layer cake quilt. All sewing motifs in this beautiful color palette. So I got one. Oh, it reminds me. It reminds me of um, Pioneer Woman. Yeah, it does look like Pioneer Woman. Yep, that's just kind of like, I love these colors. They're, happy colors they're like, they're, they're that that pioneer con bright country feel is where yeah, you're yeah, like, like sweet spot is. yeah that's my sweet spot yeah i like that a lot and then i have one other thing and it's for you for I saw, me i saw it on amazon so i'm not old-fashioned i am couture abby is a garment sewer by I, not by not by trade i was by, by trade well she works in the industry but she doesn't actually sew i sewed in the i was in the industry no longer am i was kept in the office so that i wouldn't talk to people this didn't there's, work very there's well there's a journal for you well, to keep you. track of your projects <laughs> which i'm not gonna do but thank you well i'll keep it if you don't want to forget about oh, it i love it <laughs> it's just i don't ever i think it's a millennial anxiety thing what is so it's like a thing where like we we find great good journals but we don't use the journals because we're stressed out about using it for the wrong thing because we want it to be perceived it's like stickers have you ever heard of sticker anxiety oh i i've heard of stickers but not sticker anxiety sticker anxiety is another millennial thing where we love stickers but we're so scared of putting them somewhere because we're going to regret where we stuck them <laughs> so we just have drawers full of pretty stickers but we don't know what to do with them I don't even have a comment for that. <laughs> it's it's I, a thing. It's a thing. It's a it's a it's a millennial. I guess thing. it's a thing like where, like, I guess maybe like stuff like this. Let me share with you guys. Let me lean over. So like when you get like one of these beautiful, yes, jelly rolls. Yes. But and and like I could take the plastic off it. I don't have a problem doing that. But then oh, I might because then I'll lose. <laughs> oh she see so this so you have. You have anxiety over pretty things because you. No, I, I, I can take it. I can take the plastic off, but you don't know what to use it for. And I don't. And you don't want. You don't want to. I don't want to pick the wrong project. I don't want to pick the wrong project. I don't want to start unraveling it because it will never look. It like freaked me out that I unwrapped those fat quarters just to pick out my 
<laughs> which is why you buy it is to use it. But yeah. now you see what I mean. That like so that's like where the sticker anxiety. So comes sticker from. anxiety mm. translates to jelly roll anxiety. Jelly roll anxiety. Aren't they, isn't that a beautiful? It beautiful, is. I is. was thinking about doing so. You know how like they have like those beautiful like blue on white pottery that's yeah that's it's it's asian inspired yeah i can't i can't think of the I, technical I, name for i can't it. either but i know exactly what you're talking but about we got a couple of fabrics in that have that feel to them i thought how beautiful would just be a blanket of just like that kind of blue and white fabric mm -hmm. and then as soon as you pull that out like that's exactly my feel but if it were blue and white mm. Because you've been wanting to do a red and white quilt like this for a while. Yeah, I like this. This It's really red and cream. It's creams yeah. and tans. But I, I, remember I like jelly about. rolls, but then like, I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> what is it? What it, What is the feel different from a jelly roll versus your fat quarter quilts? Like, that's not a fat quarter quilt. That's a layer cake quilt. That's layer this, quake cake. Let's, 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 yeah. This okay. is floss too, but we're talking about stuff. <laughs> So, but, but why, why, why jelly roll anxiety where flat, oh, I would, square fabric, I would still happy. Have, I would have anxiety, like just, op like there's a bunch of them. <laughs> They're open, but then I Folks, get Folks, like, if only you could see. <laughs> I need, I need some time to sew. I have some things. <laughs> have, but yeah, you, but, but yet she makes fun of me. At least mine are cut. <laughs> Mine are at least cut. Should we wrap this up? Because I bet I bet Steve is out there like like all like a lost little man waiting for supper. Well, that's why I made mine supper before I left. I know. Well he was I was going that I was, pre I pre-made my supper and I said you can't eat this up when I'm gone. That was the plan. I was gonna feed him. I didn't realize he was gonna go outside before you came over. I was like, oh, I was gonna feed you before you went Abby came over. But I'm gonna feed him now. And then we'll feed myself and Abby too, if she wants to eat. So yeah, we'll feed. Right. So anyway, folks, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to say goodbye. Um, thank you for hanging out if you've made it this far. And uh, it, was a, it was a pleasure having my eldest with me tonight. Uh, we used to spend a lot of time together. And right now she's in a busy time of her life, so she can't spend time with her mama. Y'all can't tell from the eye bags. <laughs> she has small children at her house. <laughs> and she wears two jobs. Yeah. And her and her sweetie works one job and goes to college. Mm, but college is his second job. Yep. You guys have a full, full life. We have a full. <laughs> so anyway, so just to wrap up, um, I don't have a giveaway this week or this month. Hopefully next month. Well, let's just say even if we don't hit 500, we'll do a giveaway. But it'll be a really good giveaway. If we can hit 500, we'll order something from the Fat Quarter Shop. And I will share it with you guys because you guys are awesome. And I really appreciate you sticking around, waiting till the end, and just listening to Abby and I yucking it up over our crafts and our hobbies, even though it wasn't strictly a floss tube, floss tube. No, it was, it was a collaboration. A collaboration. So anyway, what are we going to say to say goodbye? Well, I know that the YouTube algorithm wants you to say smash that like button because that is what all the popular YouTubers say. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm not popular. <laughs> but no, folks, if you could really just give us a like and let us know um, down in the comments what you like about this. <laughs> if you want to see anything in particular, there's a project you're working on. And please, if you can give us any advice on pinwheels. Yeah, I'm going I'm to try and look up that. Greatly appreciate it. Anyway, I'm going to hit stop. Pause. Oh, the remote's lost. Here's the remote. <laughs> Edit! Okay.